Even with no signs of Ebola in West Michigan, local medical providers are working every day to prepare. Today, Spectrum Health showed us how the disease has changed the way that it's protecting not only its staff, but the public. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker is live outside of the hospital with a closer look at how the hospital is keeping us safe, Ken. It's a carefully choreographed procedure now here at Butterworth Hospital. Not only how to put the gear on, but how to take it off. Uh, go ahead and put your inner gloves on. For Spectrum Health doctors and nurses, if Ebola does strike, it will be about layers, how you put them on and how you take them off. When the Dallas situation happened, there was a lot of talk about how did the nurses get exposed. Nobody knows how two Dallas nurses got infected, but it led hospitals to check their own personal protection equipment, what they call PPE. And we thought, yeah, we do have bare skin. We need to relook at this. So now they'll wear layers, boot covers, gloves, a gown, apron, face mask. And then your protective hood. A plastic face shield, then finally the second pair of gloves, always working with a buddy to check for safety. We can send her in safely and, and she can perform her uh, duties uh, efficiently and return back out of that room without any uh, exposure. Then, just as important, they showed how to take off the gear. Hospital officials say they have emphasized education, trying to ease fears among employees. But they say they never want complacency. Are people going to be anxious about this? Absolutely. Um, and really, a little bit of that level of anxiety is healthy. It keeps people on their toes, and it really keeps them conscientious when they're in that PPE about not reaching up to itch my nose. Now, medical hospital officials say they're closely monitoring the World Health Organization and the CDC for the latest in protecting medical personnel. Live at Butterworth Hospital, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8.